हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर लेक्चरर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट टुडे आई विल कैरी ऑन विथ किंगडम माइकोटा दैट मींस किंगडम फंजाई ओके द अदर नेम फॉर फंजाई इज माइकोटा सो फर्स्टली अबाउट जनरल कैरेक्टर्स फंजाई दे आर cosmopolitan and occur everywhere like they are present in air water soil on animals and on plants they are mostly terrestrial but they prefer warm and humid places they can grow on tree bark dung wood burnt wood and keratinous material that is hair and horns where protein keratin is dominant second character the body is haploid that means only single set of chromosomes is present and they are thyroid thyroid means that it is not differentiated into root stem and leaves they are multicellular the fungal body is made up of thread like elongated structures and these thread like structures are known as hyphae they usually criss cross one another and form a network known as mycelium the hyphae it can be aseptate means septa is not present and they are multinucleate such hyphae is termed as coniocytic in most of the fungi mycelium is septate the septum is however not complete but has a pore through which continuity of cytoplasma of adjoining cells is maintained the septum may have simple central pore as in ascomites mycetes but in higher fungi for example basidomycetes the septum septum is dolipore septum in which central pore possesses a barrel shaped inflation the cell wall of the hyphae is made up of chitin or fungal cellulose reserve food material is stored in the form of oil and glycogen chloroplast is absent in fungi so fungi are heterotrophs they obtain their food from dead organic matter are living organisms on the basis of source of food fungi are divided into two types saprophytic fungi this is dead fungi that obtain their food from dead organic matter such as bread fruit vegetable and dung nutrition is absorptive type in saprophytic fungi the second category is parasitic these obtain their own food from living organisms such as plants animals and human beings some fungi they have symbiotic association with algae and they form lichens so lichen is a symbiotic relationship of fungi and algae some fungi they are found symbiotically in roots of higher plants and are known as mycorrhiza there are two important phenomena in fungi one is heterothallism and another is homothallism firstly heterothallism those species in which 
fertilization takes place between two genetically different gametes or called as heterothallic species and this phenomenon is known as heterothallism we have example like rhizopus paxinia and some species of mucor now homothallism those species in which fertilization takes place between two genetically similar gametes are called as homothallic species and this phenomenon is known as homothallism now i would like to discuss about reproduction in fungi there are three modes of reproduction in fungi the first one is vegetative reproduction the second asexual and third one sexual reproduction firstly vegetative reproduction it occurs by fragmentation in fragmentation the mycelium breaks up into two or more fragments due to mechanical injury decay or due to some other reason and each fragment grows into independent mycelium second is fission here simple splitting of vegetative cells into two dotted cells takes place as it is uh, happening in bacteria the third is budding some fungi like yeast produce small outgrowths that are the buds from vegetative body eventually they buds are cut off from the parent and they grow independently now asexual reproduction it occurs through spores there are many spores in fungi firstly zoospores many fungi especially aquatic members produce these type of spores zoospores can be uniflagellated means single flagella is present or biflagellated the second type of spore is known as sporangiopore sporangiospores are thin walled non motile spores produced endogenously third category is conidia conidia are non motile thin walled exogenous spores produced at the tip of hyphae third category fourth category is chlamydospores in some fungi the hyphae under unfavorable condition they form thick walled resting resistant spores which later get separated from each other last category is oidea non motile thin walled spores developing under sugar rich conditions in medium their budding condition is called torula stage now sexual reproduction it occurs through oospores ascospores and basidospores sexual reproduction involves three steps firstly plasmogamy secondly karyogamy and meiosis plasmogamy in plasmogamy there is union of protoplasma between two haploid hyphae of compatible mating type in karyogamy there is fusion of two nuclei in some fungi fusion of two haploid cells immediately result in diploid cells however in some fungi an intervening dikaryotic stage occurs the last stage is meiosis the fungi forms fruiting body in which reduction division occurs and it leads to formation of haploid spores with this i have completed 
the journal characters of fungi thank you for listening to my lecture and in case you have missed any lecture you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com and you can listen the lectures over there and you can also download them